previously on the Break Quest Club. He holds out a hand, somebody slaps a glove into it, oh. and he <laughs> hits you across the face and throws it down. I grab my dagger and I slash him across the face. <laughs> somebody give me a sword, I'll duel her right now. I'll kill her. I assume you've heard of our Lord Light Paylor. Um, is he, what can he do for me? Can you do uh, blessings and that sort Oh of yes, thing? absolutely. Well, if you, I mean, perhaps. Have uh, you indulged me? Maybe you could bless the training grounds. Of course. Morrigan and how you emerge onto the top floor, and you see um, a small window with the shutters thrown back. Uh, through the window, it offers a perfect view of the fencing piece. Oh, does it? Are you all right, <laughs> good bad you are. Thanks. Drinks. I like what you're wearing, but it's good to stay. I'll see my cork board. Yeah. Oh, oh. Did you make this, Robert? It's so good. It's well, it's well done. We got on the fridge. We're so pride. It's pride of place. All the information. <laughs> <laughs> Servos click. <laughs> Unless anyone has any pressing business, uh, you'll all bed down for the night. You are woken in the morning by the sound of <laughs> Is it that mad? The alderman is going around the town just yelling <laughs> It appears to be one of his duties as the alderman. Oh, I wouldn't do that around Pan, he might mistake you for a chicken. Oh, oh. okay. <laughs> he leaves again. Um, old I'm, man, stop. I require your crime it is, documents. It is old man. <laughs> yes, old man is not a name, it is a description. You did not come and see me yesterday. Fair enough, I was quite busy. <laughs> Yes, I see now that that might be rude. <laughs> well, we've still got time before the duel. Would you like to come and get the document? Yes, let us do that. Great. <laughs> How long before the duel? Uh, no. It's uh, it's 10 a.m., so two hours. Okay, according to Robert's corkboard, which is yep. on the oldie fridge mm -hmm. over there, mm -hmm. we've got about an hour mm -hmm. before <clears throat> the people who pull the levers arrive yes. at the tower. I was just going to ask, was there a room that you can hide in upstairs, like, apart from the levers, or yeah. is it literally just... No, it's, yeah, there'll be somewhere you can you okay. can hide. Okay, well, I think I should probably stay somewhere where I'm easily visible, so yep. people don't think I've done a runner, but, so I'm going to stick with the car and whip Talon. Cool. I've got the levers and I teleport up there. I've had a rest now, so I can teleport again. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you did smash in the door yesterday, you could just walk up. But I can't be seen in the square. Oh yeah, of course you can't. All right, so yeah, you just <laughs> straight up there. The, uh, the old smashed in door might look slightly <laughs> suspicious. <laughs> 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 uh, um, okay. How long have we got? Two hours, an hour before people arrive. Right. Having remembered that the smashed in doors look suspicious, is that okay? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna go and try and uh, pull them shut and. Uh, make them look not suspicious. Okay. Mending thing. I do, but yeah. it, um, it works for um, as like a, it's small things like two halves of a key, a torn cloak, or a leaking wine skin. You'd have to basically like piece it together like a jigsaw. Yeah. Oh, you actually broke the doors. Like they're splintered into different uh, pieces. No, let's just say like it's it's got a big crack in it, but the the lock piece is just like bah, got battered can, in. Can you fix a lock? Yes, I can fix a lock. Okay. Yeah. Would you mind coming with me and just helping to deal with the... Why uh... did you break this time? It wasn't me! I tried to do it stealthy, but then I got suplexed into the piece. <laughs> it was very hard. Who did this? Leave was? drunk and good bad outside, it'll look fine. <laughs> look after whip talent. Okay. I'm gonna you go owe me this. a conversion after this, honestly. Okay. Well, hey, we, we said you could have Cedric. Whatever okay, I'm gonna yeah. hold you to that. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Okay. <coughs> yeah. Thanks. Um, between you, you managed to, to patch up the door. It okay. takes you the best, like, it takes you about 45 minutes, probably. Okay. So you're, you're, you'd better make yourself scarce ish before yeah. turn. Do you have, back. like, do you have a supply of food or anything on hand? Uh, always. Okay. Do you have any, like, um, I'm trying to think if I can set up, like, a little, a little stall by the side of the piece for a distraction uh, in case we want to, like, Hightail it out of there or anything? I so mean, I can sell roast apples or something. Good bad and attains premium hog roast cart. Yeah, let's Actually, do it. Yeah, we can we could go. <laughs> can maybe? we, we yeah. set, set that up real quick? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Are you actually passing Hippogriff meat off as hog? Or 
Yeah. Yeah, okay. they wouldn't know the difference. Right. There's no health the and safety right? inspectors here. You're off to find the old man. <laughs> okay. Yeah. No cool. worries. You get on the wind. You get a faint whiff of false advertising. More <laughs> 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 pressing matters. Um, fine. Yeah. The old man takes you to, to the hut, and um, it's like um, um, here is everything. Uh, I just start picking up books and just. <laughs> They <laughs> see I'm scanning like to pipe. It's like, what should do? <laughs> I'm scanning for the trade laws in this town uh-huh. to see what the um, basically to see if there's any actual stipulations against one corporate espionage <laughs> and two uh, having a monopoly. Uh, as you read further and further, you sort of with a growing sense of inevitability and uh, irritation at their short-sightedness. No, those are two absolutely enormous loopholes that um, that seem to be uh, have been exploited for some time. In fact, as you sort of go over the the the, the notes and the meet uh, the the minutes rather from from the meetings, um, going back generations in this town, uh, there's always been a Dinsdale on the council that decides this sort of thing. Uh, you, if you had to put money on it. Uh, and it was legal to do so, <laughs> you would guess that they have been sort of scheming to suppress any such legislation for quite some time now. Old man, do you have any documents on the Dinsdales? Um, I suppose it's public records of the sure, yeah. <laughs> I require them more quickly, old man! <laughs> oh, fine! He points at a shelf, it's like, well, if you're so sweet. I'm gonna start investigating to see if they've been cooking any books. Okay. Um, could I also retroactively spend one hit die when during a long rest, please? Yes. Thanks. Oh, yeah, yeah, you've had a long rest. So everyone can charge your stuff. Uh, it's a 19 for me. Um, no, they've not been cooking books, but. Um, there, kind of as you already suspected, there uh, suspected there is like a series of um, mergers and acquisitions that lines up very neatly with the uh, town's role of dead. Um, murders and assassinations. <laughs> murders and acquisitions. <laughs> <laughs> I was into that. Um, oh my god, murders and acquisitions. Yeah, it's, it's, it's also good. Anyway. Um, <coughs> yes, uh, it seems like there are a lot of uh, documents of sale of companies uh, signed seemingly by grieving widows um, just days after their husbands die in very suspicious public legal circumstances. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to start just putting this all into like a, a manila envelope. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. Yeah. yeah. Cool. cool. I'm done. Okay, so you two have set up a food store. Uh-huh. Well, we're the popular ones now, so like, <laughs> I feel like we should capitalize on that. Roll up, roll yeah. up, get your hog meat here, prepare for the big fight, get ready to have fun! Yeah, I'm like flipping hog meat on my butt pan. Yeah, on the trade is <laughs> brisk, actually. People are like, hey, it's a good, good bad. Oh my god, how are you not yeah. all over? Oh, you you tell us if it's working in the morning. Oh, no. Wow. Well, um, <laughs> As it sort of as the the jewel draws ever closer, you actually see uh, George Dinsdale uh, comes to the square and he comes to the cart and goes, "Ah, how droll!" And he orders some food and goes, "Ah, blessings of paella on you!" <laughs> <laughs> and he sort of like he he wanders off to take a, a place to to watch the jewel. He's like, "It was a bit of a surprise this one." I, didn't know anyone insulted him yesterday. Who would dare in this town, am I right? And lots of people are like, ha ha ha, ha ha ha, ha. too right. Um, so the crowd is gathering. How are you preparing for the duel? I'm playing my violin. Cool. Yeah. yeah, I'm just doing like quite a jaunty song. I am feeling quite cocky now because I know that I've got um, hell in the thing. So I'm uh, very scared inside, but I'm just like, I'm going to play the violin to try and keep my spirits up. Okay. I'm going to run over to you and cast Guidance as well. Oh, thank uh, you. Just to give you a little bit of help, just What's a little pep talk. Uh, it, um, uh, you can roll a d4 and add the number roll to one ability check. Okay. Your choice. Nice. Um, Robert has returned from the older man and it looks like he stopped off one of the shops and just plonks down some, some sword butter for you. <laughs> <laughs> sword butter. <laughs> and, uh... does, it, does it look legit, the sword butter? 
because I quite like my rapier and I don't just want to douse it in like <laughs> no, WD-40. Yeah, you, 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 sort of, you, you give it a sniff and you're like, no, that, yeah, that's... Okay. that's I'll start rubbing I've... someone in my armpits or something. <laughs> <laughs> I apply it to my rapier. You, yeah, you both sort of share a pot of sword butter. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'd also like to take my leftover money and mm -hmm. our takings, uh, go up to the bookie and just say, all of this on the outsider, please. Yes. Um, a, a laugh goes up from the crowd. They're like, <laughs> oh, mate. Oh, oh so I'll still be drunk. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, no, all bets are final, though. And he gives you a chip, and he's like, okay. yeah, it's oh. 40 to 1, mate. You I mean, sure? I feel looking a bit worried. Oh, what have I done? Oh, get off. back to your car. Oh, no. <laughs> um, cool. Um, there is a murmur through the crowd, uh, and surrounded by a small retinue, uh, Cedric Dimsdale turns up his rapier on his hip. Uh, he looks furious. In stark contrast to yesterday, uh, the swaggering, cocky youth uh, is replaced by one who looks very sullen and angry and has a series of tight stitches mm. in his cheek. I smile widely at him and keep playing. <laughs> he seems absolutely incensed that mm. uh, that you would be playing music at a, at a time like this. Like, <laughs> does she not realise she's about to die? And you see him also casting around, like he's looking, still looking to see where hell mm. is. Um, he starts doing an elaborate stretching routine. Um, um, I'd like to accompany it with humorous music. <laughs> <laughs> so like he's, he goes to stretch to Bento and it's like... <laughs> and it, it's deathly silent, because you see a few shoulders being like... <laughs> <laughs> trying not to laugh. Um, Hal, you upstairs hear a key turn in a lock. Mm -hmm. I'm um, like... And anyone keeping eyes on the building will see two men one tall, one short, ish. One, one has a limp. One, one limping, one holding uh, a croissant. <laughs> <laughs> and just barely even reaching his mouth. He's <laughs> sort of like eating it in a series of like swooping lights, <laughs> like he's a hawk. <laughs> um, yeah, and they're letting themselves in. Okay. Um, all right, right, so I, I don't obviously know how the upstairs looks, because in my head I'm like off to a room to the side that kind of can see the levers. Yeah. Um, yeah, there's kind of, so basically it's like the stairwell comes up here and then you've got the room, window here, levers here, and then there's like a little back room and there's a door so you can sort of see. Yeah, yeah. so it's yeah, like I'm that. like hiding kind of in the shadows yep. in that room. Um, in the shadows. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm going to wait till they actually stir, I think, before I do anything. Um, okay. Just because I don't know if they signal to each other before or something, so I'm just going to hold on. Cool. Yeah. Um, you just hear them mumbling to each other, being like, oh, I saw my room really scheduled. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, any, any idea? I'm over, oh, yeah. I'm <laughs> do Better be getting double overtime, really. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, well, you know, mate, it's a job, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> they just carry on, they carry on mumbling for a bit. Uh, so unless there's any other pressing business, time moves inexorably onwards, and indeed, uh, the alderman turns up, Says, oh, the appointed hour is nine. It's a duel to the death here on the beast. Would uh, combatants please enter the arena? I will remind everyone, as I believe some of us need reminding, <laughs> interfering in a duel means your life will be forfeit. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> uh, introducing uh, Cedric. Dimsdale! And he storms onto the pitch, and there is like a very strange, like, ah, ha, ha, like, yay, we're so happy he's here. And uh, on the other side of the piste, the, uh, the opponent is um, this Tiefling. Is that it? <laughs> Robert's um, air horn pops up. <laughs> 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 Send up two little fire sparks to make it look like fireworks. I'll find a fork on my pan. <laughs> I can't wheel onto the piece. Oh, oh God, I'm so angry. <laughs> um, you sort of, it's it's similar, like before where you saw the shoulders, you see a couple of people go like, <laughs> um, This is probably the tensest dual tavern spite has seen in a very, very long time. Okay. The alderman reaches into his robes and pulls out just a filthy handkerchief and it's like, Ugh. when this reaches the ground, combat shall proceed. 
and he pauses. You're not sure if it's a dramatic effect or just because he's old. <laughs> <laughs> you can just hear Panda. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> it drops the handkerchief. It hits uh, the floor. And I suppose we'll roll initiative. Yeah? Yeah. Sure. That's uh, everyone. Oh. oh. Well, that's happening. Can I sidle up and take a seat near to or next to George? Mm -hmm. Um, I just, it just makes more sense, I think. Oof. Oof. I have an unnatural 20. Uh, in true Robert fashion, I've rolled a 2. You <laughs> no, you're uh, 19. Minus initiative. Oh, sorry, it's not, uh, 19. Oh, it's a nat. It's a crit, though, so it doesn't oh. matter, right? Oh, oh, is it? Okay. Yeah. oh yeah, nice. Whoa. Natural 20. Uh, okay, oh, sweet. Yeah, grand. Uh, um. Good, bad. And then a dirty 20 for hell. Yes. <clears throat> wow. I'm going to yeah. put you after good, bad, then. Um, I'm 19 as well. Wow. Yeah, <laughs> I know. Nine. Still better than his three. Cool. And I'm a two. <laughs> <laughs> Tremendous. I'm like Bring scanning the, the meat truck, like, what's going on here? <laughs> yeah. so I, put, I put this into initiative just because just it, it sort of just makes a bit more sense because there's a duel going on. But you, this doesn't mean that if any of you have any plans to sort of stay put, you can just hold your action. Mm -hmm. um, holding your action like basically means that you don't you have to be like, next person, but uh, if later on you're like, oh, now would actually be a good time for me to go, you can use your turn. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay, so good bad, we do start with you. Okay, I think, yeah, I think I'll probably hold my action. Um, okay. I'm just stood by the car at the moment watching things unfold. Cool. Hell, uh, you hear the sound of a filthy rag hitting the floor outside. You know the duel has begun. What are you going to do? I'm going to take both of my daggers and throw them, trying to hit one, one each guy. Okay, cool. Each dagger. Yeah. What? I just roll, right? Uh, is that a dex? Assassin's Creep. <laughs> <laughs> Are you ambidextrous? Um, I've got... Um, oh, no, wait, hang on a minute. That's a different system. Some kind of bonus <laughs> thing that I can, I can attack with two weapons at once. Great. That's perfect. That's what I was after. Yeah, just make me two attack rolls then. Uh, and yes, they will be dex. Two attack rolls. Yep. So that the first, one one, each. first one's a 21. <laughs> and the second one's a 16. Okay, well, yeah, they both hit. <laughs> uh, okay, roll damage. <clears throat> Uh, oh wait. So the first one is <laughs> uh, a nine and a eight. <laughs> wow. <laughs> what? So, yeah, casual as anything, Hell just goes <laughs> and just liquid death just pours out. <gasps> Basically, we only do cool things when we're not around. <laughs> <laughs> the two... I told you to trust me. <laughs> I believe this. The two guards have been slouching there looking dead bored, uh, and then they suddenly seem to snap to attention, but what's really happened is that a dagger has buried itself in the base of each one of their skulls, and they just crumple to the floor, so... <laughs> They've gone from dead nice. bored to just dead. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. So, yeah, uh, beat that, E.T. <laughs> oh, I'm just, I'm just sitting there, I'm, I'm sitting next to George, just feeling like, woo! So, uh, yeah, so what, what happens if she laces this? Like, you know, Paylor, uh, like, Paella. <laughs> what do you mean? She'll be dead. Uh, yeah. Oh my boy! I mean, I, yeah. I'm hope, I mean, but what if what if she gets the upper hand? Would you would you let him? He, obviously, you wouldn't let him die, right? Oh, but... don't worry. He won't die. Paylord's behind him, right? That's true. <laughs> 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 he mutters to himself. Um, cool. Is that you for now? Yes, that, that's. By the way, I am taking controls of the thing, so I'm yeah, just yeah, gonna yeah, like it's... randomly pull them, oh. like the. Like, just random directions. We'll save that for now, because okay. you've attacked, and if you're moving over to the levers, you won't be able to start pulling them until next time. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> you're going to do it randomly. <laughs> cool, anyway, they just, yeah. Morrigan, 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 what um, are we doing? I'm going to attack him. Yes, um, good with idea. my rapier. Looking to beat a 13. Um, also, I am wearing my mask during the entire fight. Oh, oh he's yeah. so oh, angry with you. Yes! Okay. Partly because... <gasps> oh! Natural 20! Those dice are loaded. <laughs> <laughs> okay then. Uh, yeah, roll me your damage. Okay. And double it. Double it. I'm gonna <laughs> put that away because I'll use the Does it smell of crow? I have. <laughs> um, one d8. Scan. <laughs> uh, oh crap. Uh, that's three so plus. Oh. Oh yeah. Eleven. So fourteen damage. Okay. Ooh. Oh my God. Ooh. Um. Wow, okay, uh, you, basically, the minute the, the rag hits the floor, Morrigan just stalks forward and, like, slashes from hip to collarbone. 
like basically opens his chest <laughs> and he just staggers back. The whole crowd goes, <gasps> his eyes fly wide, like in shock and anger and terror. <laughs> and he's not dead, but he's clutching himself and he's looking around desperate, like being like, ah, and he makes eye contact with his dad and it's like, <laughs> The, it, the whole thing screams, this wasn't supposed to happen. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and also, it's slightly awkward. Like, you don't, behind the mask, no one sees you kind of blush in confusion and mild annoyance, but uh, you realise part of the reason he feels so betrayed by this and part of the reason he was so angry with you earlier is that against his better judgement, you think he kind of fancies you. Really? <laughs> oh, We're having a baby! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's just like, oh. Um, so that happens. Um, What's your footwork, freak? <laughs> uh, right, he does two things. He gestures with his hand. Um, oh. He throws out a gesture that's like, "You've you've studied the thieves, can you?" Like, "Oh yeah, I'm supposed. To, if I pull that one, it's supposed to knock her over." I get it. You know, like that's just in your head. Um, he says, "Watch yours," and kicks at the sand in the arena and kicks. Ooh, that's Sand a right towards your face. Please make me a dex saving throw. Good thing you're wearing a mask, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's a ten. Yeah, that'll do it. Cool. He kicks Sand at you uh, and sort of falls back into a defensive guard, uh, and you see him panicking a little oh, bit. He can hear me laughing behind the mask. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. Of fun. course he can. Yeah. Uh, Robert. Um. <laughs> well, first of all. Um, there's a brief moment of confusion as Robert watches two people that he thought were getting engaged and married <laughs> uh, open each other's chests up. A but, strange custom. Yeah, <laughs> I never did understand humans. Um, but then I'm going to be holding my action, but I'm just going to walk over to the, the sidelines when the when the fight began. Um, he's just got a little compartment that he pulls two objects out, which will become apparent in a bit. Ooh. Okay, um, we go back round to the top. Good, bad. Uh, I'm still selling hog dogs. <laughs> hog dogs! Hog dogs! Hog dogs. <laughs> um, it's weird, since blood has been shed, trade has picked up even more. People are like, Ooh. There is a piece of paper that says trade violation on it. <laughs> <laughs> um, Pan is also nuzzling at your leg, being mm. like, oh, uh, Here you go, kitty. <laughs> if, any, really if at any point, by the way, you do want Pan to do something, just yeah. let me know. Uh, Hal. Megan. Uh, okay. Um, I. Would I don't know how this works, but I would like to essentially wait until you're like mid attack and then like pull the lever that would like make him tilt towards you ah. so that he kind of goes into your blade. Yeah, That's okay. I'll I tell you know. what, we'll we'll hold that action then, okay. Um, and then that will be a <laughs> what would we even call that? <laughs> Advantage on Morgan's attack. Yeah. No, I, uh, yeah, no, I just meant in terms of making Hal roll. Oh, I see, right, yeah, yeah. What skill that is. Uh, uh sleight of hand? Yeah, it's another, right it's another dex sleight of hand. Uh, yeah, to do it at the right time. Uh, Etain. So I'm just like, wow, it's, uh, was that meant to happen? I mean, that's not good, right? Uh, you see George's hand is straying to his hip and he's like, He's I was thinking like, about stuff. Like, don't don't worry. Look, I, I don't know if I mentioned it before, but I've I've got healing powers. Um, so like, it's, it's not not just yet. Don't worry. Like, no. I told you before. I need I need conversions before I can do my stuff. So he's only got, he. I can only do it if he joins Paylor. Okay, right. Um, I'm gonna add him to the initiative order, and he's gonna join in in the next round. If there is an extra round. <laughs> <laughs> Morgan! Um, are you attacking again? Is he on the floor? Uh, mm, we don't know yet, actually. Do you want to pull the. Pull so the you lever. wanted to unseat him? Pull and, the lever! You wanted to unseat him and. No, I said she wants to. If she like lunges towards him, I want to pull it so that he goes towards the blade. Yeah. So, like, Oh, that's, that's a, a nat 20 plus 7, so 27. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, are you going to attack him? Um, I'm. He's really messed up, isn't he? He is uh, very close to Okay, I'm gonna. No, I'm just gonna like put my sword to the side and just like 
kind of stand back because I'm not going to kill him. Okay. He's a fool, but I'm not going to kill him. He gets launched towards him. It's, like, <laughs> it's like he steps on a spring pad. It's like, boom! <laughs> and he just eats it into the dirt. Can and I just sidestep it and just be like, boom? Yeah, you hear people openly laughing now. They're okay. like, ha, ha. like, this is the most entertaining duel they've ever seen. <laughs> um, okay. Oh, uh, could I count that as holding my action? Uh, yeah, yes, okay, yes, cool. absolutely, yeah. why not? Um, which might come in handy. What is your armor class? Oh dear, 13. <laughs> okay, he's attacking you from prone, and he has rolled a three. <laughs> so uh, we won't worry too much about it. He slashes out at you. Okay. With, it's like, uh, he'd, he's just snarling now. He's not, like, any <clears throat> quips he might have had prepared have gone straight out the window. He's just making weird feral noises. In that case, I'd like to try and impale his rapier hand with my rapier. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's a dex attack. Uh, that's a non. Oh no, that's a sixteen. Yep, that beats his AC. Um, an impaler. <laughs> so you're, you you want to keep him alive, right? Yeah, I want to keep him alive. Okay. I just want to decap- I just want to make sure that he can't use his rapier. Roll anymore. me a damage anyway, and if you reduce his hit points to zero, he'll just pass out. You were okay. so close to saying decapitate. Yeah, because yeah, <laughs> I really want to. Uh, nine damage. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you you stab his hand. And he just goes <laughs> and faints. Oh. Um, I bow. <laughs> the crowd goes wild. Not as wild as me, because I've just won a crap load of money. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 You hear there, are, there are four different kinds of scream. There are the, oh my god, what an incredible jewel scream. There is the, oh my god, I've just won so much money scream. The, oh my god, I've just lost so much money scream. And a scream of wild fury from George who has sprung up from the bench and is going to draw a sword of his own. I'd like to use my held action now, please. Okay. (laughs) (laughs) Um, So you've started to, anyone who was watching Robert has seen that the things that he grabbed from his um, small compartment were a deer stalker and a metal pipe. (laughs) Um, Robert walks into the middle of the dueling ring, seeing that the fight is going, blasting his air horn, and then just starts pointing the air horn in George's face, like, shut up, I'm talking now. Oh, man. Um, He then starts doing a really rigid sort of, like, stalk between, and then just as soon as he reaches the end of his walk, does a, like, full 360 rotation without moving, and then walks back the other way, uh, and starts recounting the entire crime as it's come up. I'm basically doing the Sherlock Holmes bit where he just explains to everyone in the round what's been happening. The yeah. Mom. yeah. I think we'll say we're out of combat now. <laughs> <laughs> and you see him just kind of like, he sort of locks up. Um, he's trying to maintain uh, an air of being wronged by this, of feeling very haughty, of feeling like, I can't believe the insolent. But you can see that he's feeling really uncomfortable. He's slowly turning green and being like, I pull out my manila envelope with all of the crimes. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, basically, something everyone suspected to be true, but no one really had the courage to say before, has uh, been laid bare, and uh, it, it, he is disgraced. In a sort of quivering voice, he, he slaps at the manila folder and goes, I, I challenge you to uh, a, a, a duel! I'd like to like point my rapier at him if he makes that threat and be like, you really want to do that? I'd say that there's going to be no more duels happening here ever. I think that's it. That's not going to be the way you solve your problems anymore. Where's that old guy I going? I from we? the window. <laughs> <laughs> the older man is Suck. at the cart. Uh, he is chowing down on like a really big hypocrite dog, and he's like, <laughs> I think you guys, you guys need some new rules around here, so I think we need to maybe talk about that. Boo uh, rules! <laughs> the absolute worst thing about all of this is that none of this is technically illegal. <laughs> <laughs> well then it's fine! It's fine, isn't it? And you hear the crowd being like, mm, yeah. Honestly, I don't know how you got yourselves in this position. It kind of sucks. <laughs> yes, of work. So I'm gonna oh. say, like, you you don't wanna be in this town anymore? How about how about your old buddy Paylor? How about you and your son on the ground there? Mm, if he's still alive, I can I can pull some strings, get you guys out of here safely, or my friends will probably finish you off pretty fast. I do a little dance thing with my rapier, just to back up Italian. His shoulders slump and he looks deflated and he goes. It's barely above a whisper. It's like, save, save my boy, not do 
Yes! <laughs> nice. Okay, I'm gonna uh, cast Healing Word on Cedric on the floor. But I am gonna get Pan to hawk a, a hairball on him first. <laughs> I print you off a new uh, conversion list. Thank you! <laughs> yes. uh, so uh, Cedric three, yes. and, and George Dinsdale. Um, and he sort of. He goes, I suppose I should have packed some things. And he's. We could probably we could probably take care of that for you. We can help you out. Yeah, yeah you sure. know they've got they've got a lot of amenities at the temple. We could probably pack up. We've got a wagon. We could put some we could put some stuff. Yeah. Keep in the cage though. We could put some stuff in the wagon. <laughs> I and think then, that's a great oh, idea. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We can we can totally like deliver your things yeah. for you. I'm cool. not even here. I've just, I've come down. Oh mm -hmm. my goods are forfeit, aren't they? Yes. <laughs> my data banks state that the temple have those very small shampoo bottles. <laughs> That's true, we do. Great. <laughs> Which way is the temple? Uh, Pan knows exactly where it is. He points, much like a pointer dog, <laughs> but it's got a bit more flair to it because he's a cat. <laughs> um, he just starts to slink off, like, dejectedly. Um, Tell them he teen sent you! His, uh, his son sort of, like, once you've healed him, catches up and, like, runs up and he's like, come on, come on, come on, come on. Like yelling at his hand, like, come on! And he just scruffs him <laughs> and mar starts frog marching his boy <laughs> toward the temple to become the second and third most reluctant devotees of Paylor <laughs> in all of Geth. Uh, so, yeah, as they sort of stomp off into the background, uh, you're left in the town square with a giant sack of money oh, yeah. um, and, you know, a cage and uh, hell, I think it's safe for you to come out now. And, yeah, like, come down. People are generally just sort of like, yeah. Like getting to grips with the idea that maybe they're not going to have to live under the thumb of the Dinsdales after all. It's pretty, it's quite nice. I play um, a nice song on my violin, <laughs> like in celebration. I grabbed the big sack of money um, off of Good Bad and said, These two have committed massive crimes against food standard agencies. Here is the fine. The alderman takes off at a The alderman takes off a scurry, which is not fast, but uh, yeah. you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Um, didn't he say all his goods were forfeit? Yep. Maybe we should go see, for justice's sake, see what goods are forfeit and maybe redistribute them. Perhaps he could pay the court a fine or serve his sentence. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so I guess as sort of the, the camera pans out over, <laughs> over the square, um, you see sort of like just a hippogriff milling around in a square as like a, a bunch of plucky adventurers go to thoroughly rob the house <laughs> of a family dynasty that they just ended because they didn't legislate quite well enough to seal up their loopholes. And uh, once again, I'm forced to ask if you are indeed the good guys or not. <laughs> Congratulations. Yeah, totally. uh, we don't <laughs> our minds with the good guys, and mm -hmm. that's what matters. There could that's have been way more deaths there, you know? Yeah. yeah, fair, you have prevented quite a few deaths. There was no death. Oh yeah! No, there, there was, was one dagger! Oh, you killed two people! Oh yeah! Oh, by the way, I retrieved those daggers. <laughs> that is fine. And on that note, that has been another adventure of the Break Quest Club. So Ooh. make sure that you are subscribed to both Eurogamer and Icebreaker. And we'll see you all again very soon. Yeah! yeah. Bye! Bye. What chaos can the club cause next? The Break Quest Club will return for a third campaign soon. In the meantime, subscribe to Dicebreaker for more D&D and board game shenanigans, Eurogamer for daily videos about video games, and don't forget to check out some of our other videos about D&D that are on screen now.